Thanks for tuning in, uh, Blue Bonnet Channel. And uh, I'm going to ask a question. Why uh, you should wear gloves and uh, masks when you go for uh, grocery shopping in the United States? And uh, because of... I'm going to provide some of incidents happen in uh, here in the Austin area, Texas. And uh, one store, this is a south location in Austin area, worker tested positive. And last... Um, the March 26th, and another HEB is the biggest one of the biggest uh, grocery chain uh, supermarket in uh, Texas area. And uh, Riverside, that's on the south location, uh, Saturday, March 28th. 8th. And this is a little bit of um, north uh, HEB, uh, Ranch Road to 60 in Round Rock. And also a, a worker attested positive on Sunday. March 29th. It's a week old situation. So we don't ne we never know it. this is it or we don't know. And then what about the other grocery stores? So that's why I'm saying uh, you never know. Either you are uh, getting virus from someone there as from the employees or customers, the visitors at, uh, um, at our uh, grocery store. And gladly, um, HEB realized uh, seriousness, and uh, so uh, they did uh, countermeasures like deep cleaning and sanitize multiple times. And on Saturday last week, they announced they um, to uh, protect their employees uh, with the gloves and the face masks. So this is a good. Uh, uh, good afterward uh, countermeasure, then this is, um, so again, if you visit any grocery store, you see uh, uh, employees or uh, cashiers or the worker there, they're not wearing the mask and uh, face mask. At least you should, you should do. Because of this is evidence uh, spreading um, the virus. So we never know. And give you the another uh, good example. Here, um, this is a Korean grocery store, H Mart, uh, popular and one of the biggest in the United States. Uh, in Austin area, we have one, um, and then this day they had a quarter announced. So all the uh, cashiers or workers, this is a sneeze guard, and then they already installed. And all the workers wear gloves and a face face mask. And I visited like uh, one or two days ago, and I saw almost all the workers they wear masks and uh, the the gloves. Okay. And uh, what they're saying, they have uh, sanitizers and uh, you know wipes. Um, they cleaning constantly, regularly, sanitize high traffic areas as well. Um, they monitor all area and also their employees' health conditions, everything. So this is a uh, um, very good standard as well, okay? Um, this is, uh, uh, as of today, um, April the 6th, Monday, uh, overall, the worldwide, the confirmed cases exceeding 1.3 million. And U.S. alone, uh, near seven, uh, three seventy thousand. Followed by Spain, Italy, and Germany. Oh, amazing! So, um, number growing so fast. And uh, this is a, a U.S. Um, the coronavirus map. As you see, the biggest epic center here: Washington, California, uh, Florida. Louisiana and uh, uh, Georgia, okay, everywhere. Um, yeah, this is the uh, the reddish color is a serious area, okay. So um, yeah, see in the New York, the figures looks uh, worse than any other cities. And followed by New Jersey, Michigan, California. Okay. 
So again, um, so subscribe my channel, like my video, leave your comments. Uh, let me uh, summarize what uh, what I uh, lessons learned. So if you okay, we we have to go grocery shopping no matter what, but do not bring your child. Uh, and then uh, if you go, <clears throat> please wear face mask and gloves. And if you see the workers not wearing a mask and gloves, and that's uh, another um, the risk factor there. So make sure at least bring your own um, the protection. Okay. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.